when we're dealing with clients that come from out of prison, they have nothing. And so we pretty much, the case manager is the ground level. I look at like we are the base. We kind of helps them build that base, build the foundation. Every Friday we have graduations. The clients get to tell their testimony. So they get to share how it was. I see them up there on Friday. I remember how they were when they first came, the interview that I had with them in the beginning. And then when I see them graduate, I heard the testimony, well, I didn't want to be here. Or at first I didn't really like what I was gonna expect until it changed, something shifts and they say, you know what? I'm glad I'm here. Thanks to Operation New Home. Thanks to my case manager. Thanks to my job coach. Thanks to everyone here. They gave me hope. Okay, hope is like a flame to me. You know, I look at hope like everybody have a candle and everybody candle have a flame. Sometimes your flame burns low. Like if you're not feeling so good, you might be feeling kind of sad, so your flame is going down really low. And I look at hope as it's the flicker to make that flame burns bright, to make you shine. It's like those clients on Fridays. Their hope, their flicker go from them to their shining. They're excited about going out to get a job. We spark their flames by getting them excited and getting them prepared to go out here to be a productive member of society. One thing I think, wish that they knew that remembering that they are human. We all are human. We all make mistakes. And we have to realize that this is just a human that made sometimes several mistakes. And even so, forgiveness. You have to, we have to give a person another shot. Don't wipe them out or just write them off because they made a mistake. We all made them. Everybody, nobody in this world have never not made a mistake. So to remember that these they were paid their dues for whatever mistakes that they did, and now they want to get another chance. I make bad choices sometimes in life. And I made a few choices that landed me into doing some drugs. And through the grace of God, I had 30 years clean. You know, May the 3rd this year, 1993, I got 30 years clean. And it is an honor to do the recovery support there because I get to share with them another side of me and not just the case management side. It lets me share with them, I've been where you've been. It's okay that you use. Let us work on not using one day at a time. Trust me, we're in this together. So it, it, it lets me teach them from a different perspective than just book knowledge. If you don't give a person a chance to redeem themselves, to get it right, then it's, it's really no point of living, really, people look at it. Why should I live if I can't even try to get it together or fix it? Our parents teach us as a kid, you did what? You need to go apologize. They made a mistake by saying something wrong or hitting that person or whatever, and they make you go apologize. That means you get it right. That's a second chance. So it is important that we give people second chance, third chance, for a chance, because we got to remember, everybody's not the same. Sometimes it takes people five or six times to get it. As long as they get it, and when they get it, give them an opportunity to get it right and try again. I get a fulfillment in my heart when I see that I can help you to your, be your best self. I've always wanted to help a person be their best self. So that's the that's hands down with me. <laughs> that's my story. As long as I'm helping somebody, I'm happy. <laughs>